What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's your Earth Master here on this beautiful Thursday night, September 29th, 2022. It is about 8.56 p.m. Central Time here in Texas, and the latest earthquake out there shows some movement around the West Coast and also up here, once again, outside of the Puerto Rico area, getting in on some activity up around the Puerto Rico Trench today. Uh, this 3.1 just coming in within the last hour at about 35 kilometers deep. Earlier today, we also seen a uh, 3.7 within that same area at about 30 kilometers deep as well. So up there around the Puerto Rico Trench Zone, that zone is a major player in uh, producing a large earthquake one of these days. Who knows when? All right, West Coast activity, uh, getting in on a little activity around the Nevada region and looks like around the Truckee area, at least north of Truckee as well, getting a swarm of movement. Uh, let's see what we got up here. 2.3 near the Honey Lake area. Looks like the south side of the Honey Lake region at 10 kilometers deep. A little activity north of Reno as well. And uh, just kind of stretching across the northern end of the Sierra Nevada. Uh, further down south, some movement on the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault near the Diablo Range. Very typical movement there for that area. Uh, further down south, not a whole lot going on through the area. Um, just some scattered microquakes throughout the uh, southern portion of the state. And it looks like they're on the um, San Jacinto Fault Zone and also the, uh, it looks like a little bit on the Elsinore Fault Zone as well. Let me bring up the U.S. faults here. And looks like they're just all on those two fault systems I just chatted about. Nothing going on around the southern end of the San Andreas Fault for now. Things very minimal in that area. Uh, swarm of activity as noted here on the Nevada map. Uh, looks like right around the Tonopah area northward uh, and south here around the M Mina area. Seeing some earthquake activity up north. Got one earthquake here along the Ashford area. Now that is just, let's see exactly where this is at here. Let me see. Zoom in here a little bit near Mount Rainier, just to the west, about 11 miles or, or 11 kilometers or so. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, trimmer map tonight real quick. Well, I want to check out the Mount Rainier seismograph station. Uh, we got 266 earthquake or uh, 266 earthquakes. No, 266 epicenters. Uh, once again, around the northern Oregon area, getting a pretty good cluster of movement there over the last couple weeks. In fact, I want to bring in uh, pretty much the last, we can go the last 29 days or so, the first of this month to the timestamp of today and get a tally and take a look at all these uh, trimmers that are kicking up here in the center portion of the Cascadia subduction zone. Normally, it's well up north here or well down south here into the Northern California area, but we're just getting a pretty good push of trimmer centered almost entirely around the Oregon area. So a lot going on there. We haven't really seen too much uh, earthquake activity off the coast. Let me bring this out here a little bit and uh, see what we got. Uh, far as any specific earthquake activity goes upstream, it's not happening, but with this amount of trimmer, I, uh, I think we'll, we should definitely be watching for some, uh, signs of some uh, stress upstream and uh, right around the locked area of the Cascadia subduction zone. We did have a 3.2 uh, earlier this morning way out in the Cascadia basin. But over the last uh, 29 days since the 1st of September, check out that number 3,778 epicenters. That's a lot of trimmer for uh, only a month time period. And uh, most of it, if you look up here on the map, has been uh, uh, focused right around the 23rd up through the 25th time frame. Quite a bit of uh, frequencies of trimmers there. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Mount Rainier um, area. And we're just going to make this a short update, folks. I am pretty tired, man. Vacations, sometimes vacations are actually uh, more, st uh, more draining than... Um, actual work believe it or not here missy mimi's in the background laughing but uh wow so let me check out the seismograph station here in a minute and i'll kind of give you guys a <laughs> yeah a little uh meaning as to what i'm talking about here here's the saint andrew's rock area 
and looks as though is this the earthquake that we're looking at right around the 0 100 time uh, time frame Let's see what we got let's go up here check this out real quick 0 UTC time of 0, 0700 let me find out here for a second. Let me see where this is at. No, no, no. It looks like 19, right? 1950 UTC time. So technically that would be on the previous day. Let's see what we got here listed on the map. Looks like they're having a little bit of small earthquakes there. There we go. There is the earthquake that's shown up there on the USGS map. But notice here, there's a couple other ones listed that USGS has not uh, keyed in on uh, but that is so far the largest one this is some type of interference up here but uh, it's definitely the largest one kicking up here uh, again a 2.4 just to the west of mount rainier and uh, that was at uh, looks like about 11 kilometers deep showing up pretty nicely on the uh, mount rainier seismograph station all right, let's travel across the rest of the world here on the flat scale model up here in the Gulf of Alaska, seeing some activity. Looks like a 5.1 coming in uh, a little bit ago at 11 kilometers deep. Not a big earthquake, but uh, we haven't really seen a five pointer in that zone in uh, quite a while. So it looks like the Pacific plate up here north is starting to get a little more active along the Aleutian Trench and into the Gulf of Alaska. See what we got going on in Hawaii. Notice some activity outside of our normal Pahala area along the southeastern portion. Uh, looks like we're getting a pretty good uh, swarm of earthquakes now at the Mauna Loa volcano once again. You guys see that? Kicking in pretty good. Let's see what we got for a tally of earthquakes over the last 24 hours or so. Looks like about 43. Um, kicking up around the Mauna Loa area. I've been watching this pretty closely because over the last couple days they've had a uh, an on and off earthquake swarm there at Mauna Loa on the big island. So something to watch pretty closely. Um, I don't believe we've got any further updates on this. Let me go ahead and type this in. Um, USGS hands notification system. And that should, uh, let's see here. I don't think I have that bookmarked on this computer, but I should. Okay, here we go. So let's go to the HVO. Uh, there's Tau Island, Mauna Loa, weekly update. This was put out today. Uh, looks like early, or actually this was um, yesterday with a timestamp here of uh, today as far as the UTC date goes. Uh, Mauna Loa volcano is not erupting. Looks like everything remains above long-term background levels, but ground deformation, uh, gas concentrations, visual uh, appearance, and webcam shows no significant changes. But uh, we are getting some earthquakes there. Looks like they recorded 400 small magnitude earthquakes below the summit and upper uh, elevation flanks. Uh, most earthquakes occurred beneath the summit at a depth of about one to two miles below the surface. Uh, this, uh, this seismicity does not mean that an eruption is imminent, nor that progression to an eruption is certain. So uh, either way though, it's getting pretty active. Uh, looks like a minor ground tilt signal was recorded uh, coincidentally with this swarm. Ongoing tilt changes are difficult to separate from ground motions due to daily heating, cooling cycles, and strong seasonal signals. So uh, might want to watch Mona Loa. Things are getting pretty active there, it looks like, as far as the swarming goes and some, un, uh, some other stuff. We'll watch that pretty closely, folks. And... Uh, report back as a needed uh, the rest of the world here low activity again from this morning it looks like around the Vanuatu area and up around the Myanmar area seeing a uh, 5.6 uh, also down into the South Sandwich Trench still uh, looks like there was a small little aftershock earlier this morning a 5.4 the Atlantic Ocean is still swarming up here uh, up here around the Rick Janes uh, Ridge Got about 24 earthquakes, although, let's see, when was that last earthquake? Yeah, it looks like it was earlier today. i uh, seen a little bit of activity. Um, even, uh, let's see, that's actually the Virgin Islands. Hold on, let's go on here a second. 
Uh, this one was earlier this afternoon, it looks like. So things look like they may be dying down. There was a pretty good gap in uh, the time that uh, we've seen the frequency of these earthquakes pick up. So looks like they may be backing off a little bit. We'll check back on this tomorrow morning and uh, see how it goes. All right, space weather. I know we got a potential G2 uh, solar storm coming in. And uh, man, I'm tired. I am very tired. Let me see where my solar ham site went to here. Solarham.net site here. We'll check this out. See what we got. Uh, yeah, things are pretty active right now, it looks like. Um, current conditions, not so much, but forecasted, yes. Looks like we could have a G2 class storm. G1 storm coming in here tonight, looks like. And um, things pretty active. 75% chance up that the higher latitudes are on the first for the G2 class storm. Again, this is coming from uh, a couple different coronal holes that are facing us, not from any massive uh, earth directed solar flare. This is all um, high speed solar wind stream flowing from those uh, coronal holes. So uh, watch that for the higher latitudes. No major flaring kicking up right now, folks. Uh, in fact, things are uh, uh, pretty minimal on the Earth side of the sun. We will watch the northeastern side of the um, sun in the coming days and see how this uh, see how this plays out. See if we get any further um, development. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, it's just been super, super duper busy as uh, far as vacation goes, right? Uh, doing some swimming and uh, eating some good seafood down here on the Gulf and uh, enjoying some sunshine. It can take a, it can definitely be a little draining, but uh, I should sleep good tonight. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll catch you all a little bit later on. Peace out, everyone.